Hello friends, welcome back. Today we will be learning something very interesting that is how to automatically send customized mails with attachments using Excel macros. In the past, I had a similar tutorial using Google Sheets on which I received a number of queries how to achieve the same thing using Excel macros. So this tutorial will have us to achieve that. So without wasting any time, let's first begin with the demo. For the demo purpose, I have created this data sheet. This data sheet contains few client details. I have their details like the first name, last name, email ID, amount, and what is the file I want to attach in that email. So when I will click this button, the emails will be automatically sent to these recipients. So without wasting any time, I click on this. So button has been clicked and get this message box as done, which means internally it has sent those emails. To check that, I click on OK, go to my Outlook, and here, if you would see these two, like the emails are coming in, like these emails are being sent from this outlook. So if we go back to our Excel sheet, here we had six rows of data. So we should get six emails in the sent box and here are the six emails. And if we just open any of the emails, like this one, this is for John Smith. Now, if you'd see for like here, we get in the subject line, first of all, bill generated for client c001 so if i come back over here if you could see client c001 is john smith the amount is 400 and here also if we see the bill amount is 400 similarly if we see any other email like the, each and every email has customized message for the recipient based on their client ids their names and the amount for example this is for C002, you could see the name is Alex King, amount is 700. So if I go back to my data sheet, Alex King C002, amount is 700, and also the attachment like for Alex King, it is invoice 1002.pdf. So you could see 1002.pdf has been attached. So now each and every client is getting a customized email based on their spendings. They are getting their invoices as well as a proper amount which they have spent now how this has been made which i'll be explaining you in this tutorial right now hope you found the demo useful now let's dig into the coding part of it so jumping onto the coding part just a couple of prerequisites one is like you should have outlook on your system and you should have some outlook valid email id on the outlook that is one of the prerequisites second one is like this structure so if you would see there are two parts one is the client details this, this sheet holds the details of the client the name email id uh, those kind of things and there is another tab over here called the mail details this mail details tab serves as a template so here there are three columns the first column is the mail subject you could see bill generated for client id within the angular brackets now what is happening is like if you go back to the sent mails if you open any mail here we see the actual client id so what is happening is when the code is getting executed the client id at the runtime is getting replaced with the actual client id and the same is true for the first name last name and amount and also the bill month so this serves as a template why i have kept the bill month over here because in the following month in the month of march or april we'll just change the month here at only one place and then we'll re-execute it with the latest data so the person has to only update the amount and the bill month and also if there are more clients or some of the clients leave they have to just either delete or keep on adding the data in the client data sheet that's it once everything is ready just on a click of the button the emails would be sent now let's begin with the coding for that we have to go to the developer tab or use the shortcut alt f11 if you're using the developer tab then click on visual basic you'll be coming on this window on the modules do a right click insert module and this is the place where we will be writing the code so i am giving any name send cust emails and here is the place where we will be actually writing the logic that would be sending those emails most important part when you are on this developer window you have to go to tools references and select this option microsoft outlook object library uh, the emails are being sent through outlook so if this is not selected then you may get errors when you would be writing this code so make sure 
this selection is done so once this is done we are now good to write the code the code goes like this so these are the first three lines of code i'll explain you so first line here we are creating an object of the outlook so this is the outlook through which the emails are being sent so this object represents the outlook next is we are initiating the object so when we write this line of code set obj outlook is equal to create object outlook dot application internally it's the outlook gets instantiated and now the next line of code which uh, i am highlighting right now this is for the email so using this object we will be actually sending the email along with the message body and the attachment so these are the first three lines of code next we'll do is like uh, we will now instantiate the obj email like uh, this so set obj email is equal to obj outlook now this should be the object we have which we have created over here so set obj email is equal to obj outlook dot create item and within the brackets o mail item this line of code should be exactly as is so once this object is instantiated we will be using this object to actually send the email so at this point the email object is ready now what we have to do is like we have to read the data so first we will read the details from the template which is the mail details tab so we will be reading column a b and c so for the code for that is very simple i'll just show you so i have these three variables str mail subject str mail body str month and if you see uh, this i am reading it from the mail details dot range a2 b2 and c2 if you would see they are part of the mail details a2 b2 and c2 so at this point uh, we have stored the email subject mail body and the month in these three variables respectively so as we read the details from the mail details tab now we want to do the same thing with the client data so we want to read all these information so the code for this is exactly the same only the sheet name will change and this is the code so here you could see the client id first name last name email amount str file this i am reading from client data columns a through f now uh, you would have observed over here the row number over here is not hard coded as it was over here here i am using a variable for now i am initializing this variable with the value of 2 now what does it mean is like when I'm trying to read str client ID from row number two, I am actually reading this cell. Similarly, all the data at this point is coming from row number two. Now comes the interesting part. Now, if you just see this variable str mail subject, we have fetched this from mail details A2 and mail details a2 is bill generated for client id within the angular brackets and we have also read the client id as c001 and the variable storing it is client id now we'll use these two variables to actually create the dynamic subject the code for it goes like this str mail subject I am actually replacing the client ID within the str mail subject with the actual client ID. So once this line of code will get executed, the str mail subject, which is holding the client ID within angular brackets, will get replaced with the actual client ID, which would be in this case right now from row number two, C001. It would be easier to understand when I execute this line of code, these lines of code in debug mode. So I'm putting one debug point over here and another here. So let's see when I execute this in debug mode. If I see the str mail subject right now, I'm just putting my mouse cursor over there. You could see bell generated for client ID within angular brackets. Now, when it comes to once again, I hit this green button. When it comes to this line of code, still it is showing as client ID within the angular bracket. But when this specific line of code will get executed with the help of function key F8, now let's see what happens. 
now it is showing bills generated for c001 so the subject has been replaced with the actual value of the client id so now i'm stopping this execution i hope like you understood how the mail subject is getting replaced at the runtime so similarly to the mail subject we need to replace the mail body as well the mail body is taking the value from mail details b2 if we see mail details b2 there are a number of things within the angular brackets those are first name last name month and amount so all these four variables should get replaced when the code is executing so now we'll write the code for that the code for mail body goes like this we are using the str mail body and if you see in all the line numbers we are replacing the first name with the actual first name last name with the actual last name month with the actual month amount with the actual amount all these four variables we are fetching it from the client data sheet so now at this point the mail subject is ready mail body is ready now we have to use the outlook obj email object to actually send the email the syntax for it goes like this so we are using obj email with obj email remember this was the obj email which we had instantiated over here same variable we are using with obj email dot two which means who is the recipient so this is the recipient str email and str email is coming from client data column d next is the subject the subject is coming from str mail subject str mail subject this is the str mail subject which we have replaced next is the body str mail body is holding the body of the email and dot send will actually send the email so at this point our code is ready which will be actually sending the email so what i'll do i'll keep a breakpoint over here and i will execute this and i'll show you like what happens so it has stopped at this breakpoint i'll push it now it has stopped at end sub and now if i take a look at my outlook see this is the latest email so if you see it has the subject has bill generated for c001 why only one email was sent because we had hard coded the row number as two so whatever are the details at the row number two c001 john smith those details are available in this email which was sent but if you see like here there is no attachment and only a single email was sent our intention is all the emails like all the emails should be sent to all the clients along with the attachment so now i'll be showing you what code which we should write so that the file is also attached and all the clients will receive their respective emails so the code to attach the file that is very simple i'll show you so within obg email after dot body is equal to str email body we will include this line of code so here we are mentioning dot attachments dot add now here we have to provide the file which we want to attach now if you see this line of code which i am highlighting we have stored the name of the file in this str file variable so i can provide it over here but that won't work because we are fetching the file name from f column if we see the file name here we have just the name of the file so that is not sufficient along with the name of the file we will also need the folder location so we will need both like the entire path where this file is stored on our system once we provide that the file will get attached so what we'll do is like we'll take another variable str folder equal to and here we will provide the path where this file has been stored on my system the file is located over here i'll show you so this is the path i copy this path and paste it over here so this is my folder location this is my file location so i'll use both i'll first use the folder so here after a space str folder and which is the concatenation operator backslash within double inverted quotes and str file so our code is ready now this will send the emails along with the attachment make sure like if you want to attach any file you should provide the entire path where it is located now one last thing is remaining which is like uh, still we have not handled the hard thing like here we have hard coded the int row number equal to two we do not want that we want all the rows which we have in our file to be executed and the email should be sent to the respective recipient so let's write the code for that 
okay so from here I am removing this I am putting it before we are using any variable so here the int row is equal to 2 and uh, at this point I am also copying this line of code and keeping it over here so what we are doing is like uh, we are just trying to read the client ID and the row number is 2 right now so we are at this position C001 and we want to continue until we get a blank client ID so what we'll do is like we'll just use a simple while loop while str client ID not equal to blank then we will execute these lines of code all these lines of code which I am highlighting right now will get executed until a blank row is reached and here I am closing the while loop. The while loop is ready but very important part over here make sure before ending the while loop this int row variable is incremented. If this code of line which I am writing right now is missed this will result in an endless while loop it will never it will, it will just keep on executing and you'll have to manually break the execution so at this point our entire code is ready which will send customized emails along with the attachment to all the clients and just to make it more readable i am putting one message box just before the execution completes so it will tell us when the execution is completed what i'll do i'll remove all these breakpoints save this uh, what i'll do is like uh, from here like here i'll show you like how we can add a button so you have to go to the developer tab insert form controls button click anywhere here click on ok so this kind of a button will come up you could just resize it and you could also just rename it i'm giving any name i'm just putting click and if you want to assign this like uh, you want this specific code which is written over here to get executed so we should know the name of the sub so it is send customized email send cust email so to assign it you right click assign macro and here you find send cust emails and click on ok that's it just before clicking on this button couple of things which I forgot to mention this line of code which I am highlighting right now this creates like this this is for each and every email which is sent so this should be within the loop it should come inside the while loop because each time a new object email will get created and the email would be sent and one more important thing is like we have incremented the row over here and our condition says we have to execute until the client ID is one so make sure after the row number is incremented you are once again reading the client ID. If I will not put this line of code, it will go for an extra row. Like it will try to execute for this row, which is blank and it will give you an error. So we have to avoid that and now we are ready. So now at this point, I click on this button. Something is happening in the background. You get this done message. I click on OK. I go back to my Outlook. Just do refresh, send and receive. See the mails are being sent and now all the emails have been sent you could see from the subject line the subject lines are varying also the content you could see the different names so in short we have achieved sending customized emails using Excel macro the code which we have written to achieve this this entire code this is available on blog over here on this blog uh, within automate web using Excel go to send emails and you will find the entire code which I had explained in this tutorial. So you could just use it and create your own mail sender. So this is it. I hope you found the tutorial helpful. If you like my videos, I would request you to please subscribe to my channel so that you would be updated with the latest tutorials I would be uploading. Guys, thanks for joining. I will see you soon.